Bismillah, the Rahman, the Rahim, with Allah's name, the merciful benefit giver, the merciful redeemer. Ashadu and La ilaha illallah, I testify. I testify as an eyewitness that there is nothing, no one to be worshiped except the Almighty Lord God Creator. Wa and Ashadu and the Muhammad Abduhu Wa Rasulullah. I testify as an eyewitness that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayers and peace be upon him the mortal human being who lived over 1450 some years ago he is one of the messengers of the Lord God creator and he is the seal of all the prophets. It is he, Muhammad, prayers and peace be upon him. In the brotherhood of the prophets, he is the final one. He is the one who lived out everything that the previous prophets taught. Yes, you can see it all in the life of Muhammad. All the prophets from Adam down through the ages came with messages from the Lord. They were creating the house, the house of the ideal human being, which is seen in the example of Muhammad. That is why so many of us, individuals around the globe today, can truly testify, testify as eyewitnesses that we see the truth. Alhamdulillah, the praise belongs to the Lord God Creator for giving us all the prophets, for giving us a human example in Muhammad who lived out everything that the previous prophets had came and taught us about the world. Now, in, in focusing on today's broadcast, which is titled, They, They Distorted the Alphabets and the Words. Thus, they distorted the spirit. The spirit, the true spirit of the knowledge that there is only one Lord God creator for all of us. They, the scriptures, the three main or lot, three major scriptures, the Jewish scriptures, the Christian scriptures, the Muslim scriptures, they all say that the word, the original words of the Lord were corrupted. 
word distorted, word changed. So that fact is common in, in the teachings of the three major religions. They distorted the alphabets. They distorted words. By distorting alphabets and words, they distorted the true meanings in the messages which were brought by the prophets. Let me share with you some word from the some original words from the sacred Quran. These words come from chapter two, verse seventy-five of the sacred Quran. And it is interesting here to note, I'll share it with you. Chapter two of the sacred Quran is named Al Baqarah. Al Baqarah. The heifer. The heifer. A cow. A heifer. The, the male species of the cattle is called what? A bull. Bull. Okay, keep that in mind as we read over these words and study these words that you see, uh, which I have written here. There is no word, there is no alphabet in the sacred scriptures that does not carry a message from the Lord God creator. When we read our different scriptures, when we study the different scriptures, we need to keep that in mind. Every alphabet, every word in the original, has a message for the human being, the human heart, mind, and soul. I will first read the original language, and then I will give you the English interpretation. God can farikum min hum yasma unna kalamalahi tumma yuharifuna hu. English translation. Indeed, there is a division, a portion of them. They hear the word of Allah, then consequently, they change, they distort it. They distort 
more literal, literally, you hire a phone now. They res they distort him. Him who? The words of your Lord God Creator. Isn't that interesting? In English translations, you will see the word English word it. But my dear friends, my dear fellow students, in the original languages, there is no it gender. There is no it gender. Every noun is either masculine or feminine. Yes, there is a message in that. Every noun is either masculine or feminine. In this verse, in these words, the Almighty Lord God Creator is telling us, you harifuna. They changed alphabets. They changed words. You hire a phone now. They changed his alphabets. His who? His, not it. His. The masculine. What's particular about the masculine gender? Scientific fact from real everyday life. The masculine gender has the ability to eject the seed of life. Isn't that what the almighty words, the almighty alphabets of the Lord God creator, isn't that what they do? Who they carry the spirit. They carry the correct spirit. But as this verse is telling us, there was a portion, a division of the people long ago who heard the words of the Almighty Lord God Creator and they decided to distort them. To distort them so that they could distort the true spirit of the people. I, of course, as you can see, I am Bilalian. Bilalian is the term I personally choose after being educated by Imam Wadi bin Muhammad, after being educated by the words and teachings from the school of thought of Imam Wadi bin Muhammad. I personally chose choose the term Bilalian. You, the world, you usually identify this people as black. The scriptures didn't do that. The original scriptures didn't identify this people as black people. The original scriptures did not identify a segment as white people. The original scriptures did not identify a certain segment as brown people, yellow people, red people. So where did all of that come from, that division? 
it came from they who changed the original spirit of the scriptures. A monk, a monk, monoethnic group. Many other people also eat them, but I want to speak on from the experience of my ethnic group, and I know that you can identify with it. I know that you can see the truth in it. My ethnic group was brought up was cultivated, was programmed during American slavery, programmed to eat pork, pork products. One of the pork products that the so-called black people were were intentionally focused in on is a product named chitterling. Chit chitterling. Chitterlings. But remember now, as the words here are telling us. The Lord says there is a group amongst the human society that changes words, changes alphabets. Let's think of that as we research the word chitterling, chitterling. Chitterling, the word chitterling You see it here. That's what they are truly speaking of. Those that are in high knowledgeable positions, the so-called learned people of the society, of the American society, and of the world society. They know are truly talking about chitterlings literally are the intestines, the intestinal links, the bowels that are within the animals. Do I have evidence of this? Yes, I do. Research this word root. Found only one time in the sacred Quran. F R T H. F R T H. Ah, for you that are English speaking people, isn't that word root? Isn't that very similar to the word root, English word root? F R T, which means to blow foul smelling gas from the intestines, a fart. That word, which appears only once in the sacred Quran, is in chapter 16, verse 66. Chapter 16. Verse 66.
Isn't it a shame on those who came up with such a scheme against humanity, against other human beings? God can farikum. Indeed, there is a portion, a division. Men whom from them, yes, my own, they hear, they heard the original words. They knew the value of the original words. But still, because of their own deceit, self-deceit, their own desire to keep themselves in a position where they would be superior in knowledge, superior in understanding than any other people. They changed the words. They intentionally changed the words. God can men whom. Indeed, there is a portion, a division, men whom from amongst them. From amongst they, them, from amongst them, them who research your scripture, my Jewish sisters and brothers, research your scriptures, my Christian sisters and brothers, research your scriptures, my Muslim sisters and brothers. They who change alphabets and words, they were from amongst the people whom Prophet Moses took the message of the Lord to. Yes. The key phrase there, the key word, from amongst. You out there who may be quick-minded and want to point a figure at an entire segment of the population? No, that's incorrect. The scripture doesn't do that. The scripture just literally said, from amongst them, the people whom Moses went to, from amongst them, not all of them were hard-headed. Not all of them were rebellious. It was some from amongst them who did that terrible thing. Set the world population, the world public. on a course to go astray. Now let's take that lesson, that fact that scriptures, these scriptures has uh, proven to us. Let's take that fact to the world at large because he's uh, the reason I say that, many of us, most of us religious people, we read this in the sacred Quran. We read these words in the Torah, in the gospel, and we only apply them to religion. 
the religious world. But the Lord in scriptures did not say that this only applies to the religious world. The Lord says they did that. They do that. They change alphabets and words to suit the spirit that they want to establish. Not only in religion, but in every other avenue of human life. They have taken good, wholesome, original, spiritual, religious words, and they have corrupted them. This is only one of the examples. Look at how they corrupted the spirit of religion. Look at how they corrupted the spirit of religion. For you that are true students, honestly and vigorously seeking to study the evidences that are in religious books, then I encourage you to go to the Jewish scripture and the Christian scripture, the originals. Yes, you can start with English interpretations, but always keep following the logic back to its source. Where did they get it from? Where did it come from? There is a word in the Old Testament of the Holy Bible. They give it to us, the scholars give it to us as a Hebrew word. In its English form, the word is S H I T T A H Shitta. Research that word. Research it honestly, earnestly. In fact, uh, my uh, my objective here is to also put it into the comment section along with the video. So you will have that available for you to research. S-H-I-T. T-A-H. In the scriptures is speaking of a particular type of wood. A particular type of wood comes from a particular type of tree. Aha, think. In the very beginning, first book of this of the Holy Bible, didn't you, the public, didn't you, the people, get warned? The scriptures there said that in the mist, the mist, in the very uh, deepest intimate areas of the garden, there is a tree of life. And beside it is the tree of the knowledge 
of good and evil. Your Lord told you, do not eat, do not consume of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For you shall surely die. Die morally, mentally, spiritually. The tree of the knowledge, the wood of the knowledge of good mixed with evil. When they, when that portion of people changed the original words of scripture, they were mixing good with evil. They were playing with our minds, mixing good with evil. And look what it has did to our life, to our human life. Our human life in America and in nations around the world have gone to the toilet. Waste material. Oh, we have a great job to do in spreading this truth. This truth, the truth of the original scriptures, the truth that will help all human beings who desire to be on the correct path in life, to have a support for their journey for their travel, for their struggle. This is our time. The Lord has brought us two sincere people, no matter what your named faith may be. If you are still a true sincere person, then you can hear the truth. Your heart, mind, and soul connects with it. You recognize it automatically. Why? Because as the scriptures say, the Lord created you. One of his benefits to you is that it was clocked into your human nature from the very beginning of your existence. In the Holy Bible, doesn't it, doesn't it say the kingdom is within you? In the sacred Quran, doesn't it say that your Lord has created your soul with the ability, inherent ability, to know the right from the wrong? Yes, indeed. We have been given all that we, excuse the interruption there, myself. Huh? We human beings, we have been given all that we need for our survival. 
The Lord never left us alone without his help. He has always been there overseeing the circumstance. Allowing us to gain the experience that we would need for this day and time to speak the truth. Speak the experience of the truth and let all human society know of their true inheritance. Your true inheritance your redeeming mercy has already been established for, for you. Please share this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all very much. Assalamu alaikum and Ramadan Mubarak.